Hello and welcome to the character creation tutorial. This is the art that I'm going to be using. And the first thing we're going to be doing is going into project settings and just making sure that our window is set to be more 2D friendly. We're going to be adding a 2D node, calling it creation, adding a 2D kinematic body and calling it player, adding a button, calling it helm, and we're going to be duplicating that four times. So we have helm, face, body, and enter world as our buttons. We're going to be naming them accordingly and saving our scene. The next thing we're going to be doing is going into the player node, making it its own branch and adding a sprite to it, calling it helm and then actually adding the helm sprite to it. If it looks really blurry, just re-import it as 2D pixel and she'll be good. Change the H frames to 3 because there's 3 frames and duplicate that 3 times to add our face and our body. And just make it a human like that. Next we're going to add a global node and we do that by creating a new scene, adding a basic node and just adding the player variables to hold the frames. To make it a global node we just need to go to project settings, auto load and add it. The next thing we're going to be doing is adding a script to the creation screen and just clearing it and we're going to be adding the signals from the buttons to that script. So this is how you do it, we're going to be doing it for all the buttons. And from here we're just going to add references to the sprites from the player and we're going to be adding a loop where we go through the flames every single time it is pressed. So just add that for each of the ones except for enter world and just drag and drop the player sprite into the center so it looks nice. We're also going to be adding our own world and just naming it to world one which, so we can reference it later as its own scene. Now in the enter world button we're going to be making it so that the global player helm variable is the same as the helm variable. We're also going to be adding a change scene to our world one node. We're also going to be adding a player script and from there we're just going to be referencing our sprites but also on the ready function making it so that the sprite frames are equal to the global frames. And from there you can kind of see that when you click on the button it will change. Now you can also add movement to this, not going to explain it, but now if you enter the world you now have a moving character with your preset. 